Hey everyone, today we're going to do a thorough review of Cagney's on NCL Escape. We'll run through the menu and tell you everything we love and don't so much love about Cagney's on this amazing cruise ship. Come with us. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to focus on Cagney's on NCL Escape in particular. Remember, every time I do one of these food reviews, I do a little caveat. Food is extremely subjective. So you may not have the same taste as us. Even so, at these restaurants, one day you could go to Cagney's on a Monday. I can go on Tuesday and it could be two completely different experiences based on how many people are there, based on the chefs, the servers, all different factors of the ability to get food, whatever it is. So take everything with a grain of salt. This is just based on our experience and what we like and what we don't like. So we're going to take a look at the menu here at Cagney's. The signature cocktail is the sidecar. It is excellent. But I also recommend a nice glass of red wine if you have the drink package. So let's go through what we have as starters here. We have the crab cake. We've had every one of these starters, so I'll go through them. Crab cake is excellent. The thick cut bacon is very good. It's kind of, I would say, not my go-to appetizer here. Uh, shrimp cocktail is one of my go-tos. I love that. The black tiger shrimp trio is fantastic. There is a supplement for that, which is kind of silly, but it is what it is. It's just the giant prawns instead of your smaller shrimp. Then you have the tuna tartare with some wasabi, which is very, very good. And Oysters Rockefeller, which are a classic, kind of a very traditional steakhouse menu here so far. Same with the soups and salads. You have lobster bisque, French onion soup, a wedge, a Caesar, and a beefsteak tomato salad. All very traditional steakhouse. Then you get into your entrees. You're going to have a few options here. You can get a bone-in veal chop, uh, some prime rib. You can get surf and turf, which is a $20 supplement on your dining package, which means it's additional to your dining package. You can get the Australian lamb chops and the pork chop. Before we get into any steaks, generally speaking, as a general rule, I would never recommend a pork chop or a veal chop while you're out. The lamb chops are fantastic. The prime rib is pretty good. The surf and turf is very good. But again, if you love pork chops, go for it. Just my kind of rule of thumb at different restaurants, I generally will not recommend certain things that are very like normal that you can get anywhere. Next up are our steaks. You're going to have the ribeye, which is my go-to. I love it. It's excellent. You have a petite filet, which is a five ounce filet, which is perfect if you really want to get a lot of food. If you're going to get a starter and some soup, maybe some salad, you want dessert, you want to cut back a little bit, maybe get some sides. The, uh, then you have your regular premium cut filet, which is eight ounces. You have your porterhouse, which is a 20 ounce steak, which you could 100% split with somebody. You get your New York strip. There's a grass-fed New York strip. And then there's a bone-in tomahawk, which there is a um, supplement on. So you have to pay another $25 for that. Again, you can get your cook, you can get your steak cooked however you like it. We usually go medium rare. You can get Bernays, a peppercorn, a chimichurri, uh, port wine, house-made steak sauce, which I'll get to in a second, a butter or a yuzu togarashi butter. Funny thing about the homemade steak sauce, on our trip, we went to Cagney's, we ordered the um, house-made steak sauce. It was cocktail sauce. That is not steak sauce. I don't know, I don't know what the deal was there. I don't know if it was an accident. We just thought it was really funny. You can also get seafood. You can get a tuna steak, uh, steelhead trout, which AJ from our team had, which was excellent. Looks a lot like salmon. You can get uh, the jumbo shrimp skewers or the fisherman's platter. Again, AJ has a beef allergy, so I get why she didn't get steak or why she wouldn't get steak. If you are at a steakhouse, definitely recommend steak or lamb or the prime rib or the surf and turf. Going down the seafood route, I think you're going to get a better meal at Bayamo or, uh, you know, any of your seafood restaurants. But that being said, the steelhead trout is very, very, very good. You can get your traditional sides, your baked potato, your creamy polenta, 
uh, your mashed potatoes, all of those other things. For dessert, they have an OMG cheesecake, which is spectacular. Um, and you can get uh, a few different things, creme brulee. Uh, they have a um, blueberry kind of crumble. This is an older menu, so there may be some slight differences from what I just reviewed. And the menus can change all the time. This menu for, is from 2020, I just noticed. So, um, But still, the same spirit of the menu will be exactly the same. We had a great meal here. I always have a good meal here. When we were on Joy a few months ago, the food, it, it, as a general rule, was not as good as Escape. So I don't know if it was the changing of staff, if it was just a bad week that we had. Like I said, food is very subjective. But the food on Escape was outstanding. Our meal at Cagney's was excellent. The service was excellent. Uh, this is, I, I am, have been ranking these in order. If you have a dining package, if you have one dining package, I would do teppanyaki. If you have two, I would add Le Bistro. Three, I would add Bayamo. Four, I'm going to slot in that Cagney's. So if you have the full dining package for your entire cruise, highly recommend Cagney's. It's a, a very, very good traditional steakhouse, very similar to Chops on Royal Caribbean if you've been there. They go back and forth in my brain uh, as which one I like better. The Escape was the best iteration I've had recently. So that's my number one right now is Cagney's. So there you go. We would love for you to let us know if you like Cagney's. If so, what is your go-to meal there? What do you love the most? And we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. We put out a brand new video about cruising every single day of the week. Thanks, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you all soon. Bye.